So dear students, <coughs> we are going to continue the module one. This is the uh, uh, fifth lecture video of module one. In this one, we will be discussing about, we will continue with the basic algorithm, uh, assembler functions and assembler algorithms and data structure. We will uh, try to convert a uh, assembly pro program into the object code. So this is our assembler, this is one <coughs> program written in the assembly language. We have to convert it into, we have to write its object code. Now, here, as we know that there are five assembler directories. So, here the start is the assembler directory and its a copy name is, its a program name is copy. And here these lines are just for the reference and its the starting address of the program is 1000. Now, here byte is also and assembler directives and here end of this this first line it is called this is just a line of reference and this is called label this is called label this is of code and this is operand so we have to convert the this program into the object code. Let us see the next thing. <coughs> so as we know that with, res uh, uh, with respect to SIC machine, the instruction format is of 3 bytes. So this is the instruction format of 3 bytes. So these are the object code which is generated for this program. Now object code will be generated in two steps as we know from the previous slides that the first in step one the assembler generates the location counter value so these are called location counter value and in pass two the program the assembler generates the object code one more very important thing is that whichever assembler directive sheet is there assembler doesn't generate the object code whichever like here start it is there it is a assembler directive so it will not generate the object code similarly here word byte Reserve word, reserve byte. These are the these are the assembler directives. So object code are not generated for this. This byte symbol C end of file. It is just E the ASCII value of E is forty five. Then ASCII value of O is 4F and ASCII value of F is 4C. These are not byte code, it is just a ASCII value in hexadecimal. Then 3, it is 003, then 0000. <coughs> now, the first step we will see how to generate this location counter. So, since the program name is copy and it is starting address is 1000. So we will start with the 1000 here, the first line. Now 1000 and STL return address. So as we know that every instruction in SIC it is of length 3 bytes. So that 
this instruction is of length 3 byte so next instruction address will be location control value 1000 plus 1003 then again this is also 3 byte so 1006 so we should keep adding 3 3 so c plus 3 f f plus 3 1 2 and all these things you can see that now here it is word here again uh, each word it is of uh, one byte so each word is of three bytes so we will add three here also here also now reserve word it is of it will reserve how many values are specific, specified here here one is there so one byte here one is there uh, word word length is three bytes so so one into three three will be added if suppose here two is there then two into three six bytes will be added but fortunately here one one it is there so only one byte means three bit, uh, three bytes will be added next year reserve byte uh, 4096 so it will reserve it will add the 4096 hexadecimal value so if we can uh, so 4096 byte it is a decimal value if you convert into hexadecimal it will become 1000 so that we should add 1000 in the previous Address so it will become 2039. Next, uh, again, if we add, uh, then it will be uh, 3C. Again, we should add, keep on adding 3, 3. And finally, again, uh, finally, we will get this location counter value. So in the next slide, we will see how to generate the object code value. Thank you.